Thank to Banggood.com for sending me out the brand new Real ACC R11. It's a 5.8 gigahertz FPV foldable quadcopter. Now you wouldn't believe that, it's absolutely small. It's got a 720p HD camera at the front here and you can buy it bundled in with the eScene VR006 goggles or just with the transmitter itself. Before we go any further, what do you get in the box? Now you get a spare set of props and the props are 36 millimeters in width. You get prop guards and a screwdriver. You also get a USB charging cable to charge your battery up and the battery that you get is a one cell 380 milliamp LiPo battery. It's a proprietary battery. You plug it in at the side and the red light will go on when it's finished charging, once you've plugged it into your computer, the red light will go back on. So when you plug it in, it goes off and it goes back on and it's fully charged. Takes about an hour to charge up, lasts about five to seven minutes, they say on the battery, but we'll find that out. And the battery weighs 15 grams. Now let's move the quadcopter over to the side and see what else we get with the quad you get two manuals you get one for the goggles and you get one for the quadcopter you also get some wipe to clean the screen on the goggles and a bit of foam pad for the nose but just in case it's digging into your nose and a usb charging cable because the goggles have a built-in battery we'll get round to them shortly now let's put that aside and get on to the transmitter and I have seen this transmitter before on many, many different quadcopters. The features of the quadcopter is you have headless mode, and that's this button here. And you can turn LED lights on and off on the quadcopter. It does have LED lights. You get return to home and automatic gyro calibration. That means you put your quadcopter on a flat surface, press the button, then you'll see the lights flashing and that will automatically calibrate the gyro for you. On the right hand side, you have your trim buttons here and on the bumper buttons, you have three rates, low, medium and high. On the right hand side, you have your 360 flip and that's just about you and your on and off button here and this one does nothing as far as I'm aware of. It also takes four AAA batteries at the back and they are screwed in. That's it for the transmitter. Now let's get on to the main quadcopter itself. The main quadcopter without the battery weighs in at 28 grams and from motor shaft to motor shaft it's 89 millimeters. The motors that you get are 0716 brushed motors. Uh, they're not too bad, pretty powerful. You get blue LED lights underneath at the front and red LED lights at the back here. You've got an on and off button at the top when once you've plugged the battery in. And you also have another little button at the bottom and that's for changing the frequencies to your goggles it doesn't change bands it only changes the frequency and the default frequency it comes at is 5865 i do believe the main camera itself at the front is a 720p camera hd like i said it's ntsc format the field of view on this camera is 90. now that scares me a lot because I have not flown a quadcopter with a field of view of 90 since I started flying FPV years ago. And I don't even know it's if I'll be able to fly this thing. It's like looking through a pair of binoculars, put it that way. But we'll have a go at it, but not tonight. Tonight what I'm going to do is just fly this around the house line of sight because you can do that because after all you can pick it up just by itself without the goggles the goggles eSCENE VR006 I've seen these before with a dipole antenna at the top at the side here is where you charge the battery up with your USB charging cable that I showed you earlier on and the battery that 
is built in as a one cell 500 milliamp lipo battery which runs for around an hour and takes about the same amount of time to charge up now you do have buttons on the other side of the goggles you've got your on and off button automatic scan or manual you can change manually and you can go into the menu you've got your strap here you need to put that on yourself i've already put that on now let me just turn the goggles on quickly but you will not be able to see anything i've already tried this through the camera it's quite impossible to see anything and i'm going to turn the quadcopter on as well let me just turn that on and turn the transmitter on you need to push up and push down now if you can see here there's the box now i usually have the box the same distance away from me on every video that i do if the camera will focus in and look where the quad is it's right beside me look how close up that is it's really really close now you can let me just bring it up here you can go on to the main menu if you press the main menu button let me just press it i don't know if you can see that it said brightness let me see brightness contrast you won't be able to see that my camera is not focusing up on that i'm afraid to say but it does uh, you get your backlight brightness contrast saturation and your input and your frequency display on and off and that's just about it the goggles weigh in at 164 grams that's quite light with the dipole antenna on top like i said there's no built-in dvr i'm afraid to say so if you want to record any video footage you will need to use fat shark goggles or a different set of goggles now that's it for the whole quadcopter now i'm going to do a little test flight around the living room because i haven't seen an fpv quadcopter that's got headless mode on it we're not going to be recording today but hopefully if the weather's nice and calm shortly i will take this outside i'll put my fat shark goggles on and we'll see how it goes but with that 90 field of view on the camera i think i'm going to struggle big time but anyway, enjoy the little flight footage that's coming up. Don't forget to check the link in the description below to where you can buy the quadcopter. Thanks for watching this video. And as always, my friends, happy flying. Okay, I've just calibrated the gyro right there. And let's go off into a nice stable hover. And that's quite nice indeed. We are in rate one at the moment. quite mellow in rate one and it's a nice little flyer for indoors because it's nice and small let's see what the yaw rate is like in rate one quite slow we'll punch it up a rate into rate two a little bit faster and in rate three yeah that's a lot faster not as crazy as the old ones used to be but it's good enough 360 flips, right flip. Had a little bit of your twitch there. Front flip. And back flip. Left flip. The flips seem to be pretty good. I'm going to keep it in rate two for the moment. Quite a nice little flyer. As you can see, I like flying little quadcopters like this around the living room, I really do. The ECE 5 Dyna is my favourite for flying about, it really is. Now we're not recording inside today, like I said, we we'll need to take this one outside to record. Don't worry about that, I'm used to flying these little things inside. Now, I wonder what the battery time is going to be like. You do have headless mode, don't forget. 
I did try that earlier on and something funky happened, I can't remember. Right, I calibrated the gyro about there. So, let me press the headless. Whoops. Right, that's us in headless full mode. Yeah, it's working fine. Okay, cool. You can see those LED lights flashing away. In headless full mode. You just press the button again to come out of it. That was me that uh, dropped the throttle there because I had to move my finger off the throttle button to get to the headless hold mode button, which I don't like the way they've done that, but anyway, it is what it is. Remember, you do have prop guards, and if you're a beginner, I highly recommend that you do use them. Don't you do that. That was me full stick there to bring it away from the wall. I wonder what it's like in rate 3 indoors. Right, let's try it. Okay, just take my time. We are in rate 3. Whoa! That's what it's like in rate 3. <laughs> right, I think we'll stick to rate 2. Okay, so rate 1, rate 2. And off we go. Right, we're back into rate 2 now. We'll stay in rate 2 for that. Usually what I do, if it gets too close to my face, I'll just duck and my hat protects me. That'll do me quite nicely. And don't forget, you can also turn the LED lights off if you want to. I don't want to let go of the throttle stick. Because remember, it, it does not have altitude hold. It's not going to stay in one place. It's a fun little flyer, it really is. If you just want to pick it up and flying about like this, you can without the goggles. If you get a pair of goggles, then you can hook it up later. But we'll see what it's like in the goggles tomorrow, hopefully. Now, I can never depend on the weather, I'm afraid to say. Not in Scotland. This year we're supposed to have the worst snow ever in a long time. Well, that's yet to be seen. Right, and it's still going. Not quite sure of the time on it yet. It does have return to home, but there's no point in using that in here. It can be controlled quite nice and smoothly. You can just fly it about nice and gently, like so. You just need to go easy on the sticks. Do a flip. Drop the bit of altitude. I'm guessing the battery's draining out here. Yeah. Because it's dropping down now. I don't see us having much battery life left now. Those lights should start to blink anytime soon. Quadcopters always start to... There you go, I was absolutely right. Those lights are blinking. Now what will happen if we keep it flying? Is it going to drop out of the sky? Are you going to slowly descend? It's moving over there by itself. I'll keep it just about there so it doesn't hit the hard flooring. And no, it's still continuing to fly. I'm just going to bring it down now, I'm afraid. Well, that's it. That's the little window flight of the real ACC R11.